Now is your moment in glory. Now is your time for health. Now it's time for your family. Now when it comes to receiving rewards from God, we must understand it's the very nature of God. It's the nature of God that he chose to reveal very strongly in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. He says, for without faith it's impossible to please God or please him. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see, he is or that's the third person for I am rewarder. The thing about it is that that thing about reward is demonstrated most in the taking care of God's servant. Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 40, he says, if they receive you, then they receive me. He that receives me, receives him that sent me. And then he says, he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall get a prophet's reward. And he that receives a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. You see, the thing about it is that God is very much interested in taking care of his kingdom and ensuring that his kingdom is properly financed. And the servants in those kingdoms are also properly taken care of. You see, if they're not taken care of, then they cannot go give good leadership. You see, a prime minister, a president, leader of the army, any of those key positions not properly taken care of, leave them open to distractions, bribes, being turned over to become pawns of other nations. And the same thing in the wisdom of God Almighty. So what God says, that if you take care, help him take care of his servants, then he will take care of you. Now, but a lot of people, in my 29 years of pastoring, I've seen people walk up to me and say, Bishop, I have no use for this thing. Can you see if you have some use for it? And they saw the pastor as a place to transfer rubbish. You know, that was not the intent of the thought. Jesus said, if you give to the disciple of a prophet, a disciple of a righteous man, a glass of cold water. Now, he actually says only. And I like to say the only is not on the glass of water, cold water, but the only is on the, on the, on the disciple. Because back then, there was no refrigerator. In our days, you could just walk into the refrigerator. So that's why we think it's only a glass of cold water. You see, to get a glass of cold water in Jesus' day, you had to have a specially made clay pot. You had to pour water into it, and you had to leave it aside for a while. And then by the laws of physics, chemistry, whatever have you, the temperature would drop. And that's why to give somebody a glass of cold water actually in Jesus' day meant going out of your way. So the people who go out of their way to take care of ministry and to ensure that the gospel goes on, God gives them the sacred promise that they will actually in no wise lose their reward. May I ask you today, what's the reward you need from God? What's the breakthrough you need from God? Partner with some servant of God. Go out of your way on earth and watch the God of heaven go out of his way for you. God bless you.